what might happen at Rocktails and Cocktails? If I sat down, what could happen? Well, if you sat down at the, at the show, Rocktails and Cocktails, I would be willing to bet that almost anything could happen. So it's a lot of improv. I get to do characters. They say that actors, every actor, is born to play a role. Well, since I have kind of three occupations, one being I record records, I do live shows, and I also do film. And I've done stage, I haven't done stage in a long time. You know, plays and musicals. I was born, obviously, to record Bad Out of Hell. Given, no doubt, early on. I was born to do this show in Las Vegas. Over four months, I kept, you know, putting this in, going, nah, pulling it out of my head and putting something else in there, plugging in another picture. And then they asked me to, they kept, they kept, the producers kept calling me and going, well, you can do this. I'm going, nah, you can't do that. And I kept trying to explain it to somebody over the phone, third party. It's like the old telephone thing. It doesn't work. So I eventually went there and pitched it to them, and they just kind of went, wow, nobody does that. I love when an audience will moan at you, laugh at you, boo at you, whatever that you can get out of an audience. And sometimes they even tell them to boo. Come on, that was terrible. Boo that. Boo a perfect. You know, they, because you, you want to you wanna get that response from the audience. But when we're not talking or doing the characters, the audience disappears. I don't rely on them. I never rely on an audience for my energy. This was the show I was born to do. All, everything... Everything I've done up till now on a stage in a concert or in theater has led to this. My expectations <laughs> in show business started, uh, I wanted to get out of study hall in my second half of my sophomore year in high school because I wanted to talk and you can't talk in study hall. So I went to the counselor and said, get me out of here. So she goes, well, you can have elective drama. I said, great. So I went in the drama class, sat in the back of the room expecting just to you know, be able to talk every once in a while. At least I didn't have to be quiet and some woman, because back then they did take rulers and hit you over the head with them. Um, uh, but I got into the drama part and then wound up doing all three, doing three musicals. I'd never take my stage persona into a film. And I'll say to people, they go, oh, what films you been in? I said, Fight Club. Well, what were you in Fight Club? I played Bob. Oh my God! Oh, you... Oh, you were Bob. Oh, and I, I did a house episode. And my best friend in the entire world, named other than Francis, uh, named Brett Cullen, who's an actor, um, 20 minutes in the house, he calls me over the phone, he goes, you're on the house. <laughs> and so when your best friend, it goes right over his head, you know you've, lo you've lost whatever this is. I don't know what this is.